Hello friends, this is Dr. Vesey Maharaju, Associate Professor, PC Department in IRE. Today, we are going to discuss the demodulation of SSB waves. In previous video, we discussed the generation of SSB. So, in generation of SSB, we used two techniques. One is phase estimation and another is frequency estimation. So, by using those techniques, we are going to generate our SSP. Now, demodulation. So, we are getting original message signal back from that modulated signal. So, demodulation is the reverse process of modulation already we discussed. Now, in the demodulation of SSP wave, the baseband signal M of T can be recovered from the SSB wave S of T by using coherent detection. So coherent means having the phase reference. That means here the phase synchronization is very very much between the transmitter and receiver. That means by using the same local oscillator frequency at both the transmitting and receive sections. Otherwise, we are not using the same having the same phase errors or generated. So that's why here this phase reference is very very much in this demodulation of SSB waves. In this uh, Coherent detector or having a product modulator and a local oscillator and a low pass filter. So, S of T is a modulated SSB SC wave, single side back wave. We are giving two inputs to the product modulator one is S of T, the modulated signal. And another one is C of T, that is our carrier. So here, the same frequency what you use in the transmitter using the same frequency is using here the local oscillator and the receiver also. So that is the point. And uh, the output of that uh, product modulator you can call as uh, V of T, which is uh, applied to the low pass filter, then finally you get to the demodulated output M of T. Why? At the modulation, we are using the original message signal or baseband signal. By using the modulation process, we had converted M of T into SSB wave. In the demodulation, the reverse operation. From the SSB wave, to the M of T. Okay. Now, the output of the product modulator can be written as V of T, which is equal to S of T cos 2 pi FCT. So, S of T, there is a modulated SSB signal. So already we know that S of T is equal to AC by 2 of M of T cos 2 pi FCT plus or minus M cap of T sine 2 pi FCT. So here plus or minus in that uh, total modulated signal which indicates here LSB or USB is ten. Only one band we are using. So that's why single, single side band. So plus gives LSB, minus indicates USB. So generally written S of T is equal to AC by 2 of M of T cos 2 pi FCT plus or minus M cap of T sin 2 pi FCT. So this is the modular signal which is 
giving one one input as a product modulator and another is our carrier signal so now substituting this uh, second equation in the first equation then v of t which is equal to ac cos 2 pi fct m of t cos 2 pi fct plus r minus n cap of t sin 2 pi fct so when you uh, derive this equation you get to v of t then this v of t is again applied to low pass filter and finally you get the original message signal okay so let us derive this equation so here we are having ac by t ac by 2 cos 2 pi fct m of t cos 2 pi fct so here we are going to multiply inner side ac by 2 m of t cos terms cos 2 pi fct again multiply with cos 2 pi fct gives cos theta which multiplies cos theta you get in cos square theta so here you can write cos square 2 pi fct plus or minus again ac by 2 m cap of t into cos 2 pi fct into sin 2 pi fct so this is the equation what of this m of t uh, v of t so in the first term having cos square theta so here within the trigonometric function cos uh, 2 theta which is equal to cos square theta minus 1 so by using that uh, equation cos 2 theta formula so here i am writing cos 2 theta which is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 so here we are having cos square theta so we can write uh, 1 plus cos 2 theta which is equal to 2 cos square theta since cos square theta which is equal to cos 2 theta plus 1 divided by 2 so by using that trigonometric equation you can substitute those terms in the first term first part in the second part we're having cos a cos b form cos a sin b form so sin of a plus b minus sin of a minus b which gives this uh, 2 cos a sin b but actually having cos a sin b so again here i'm writing since cos a sin b which is equal to 1 by 2 of sin of a plus b minus sin of a minus b so this is the equation what you get here this cos a term and sin b term by sin of a plus b sin a cos b plus cos a sin b again sin of a minus b sin a cos b minus cos a sin b so we are going to subtract it sin of a plus b minus sin of a minus b so you got cos a cos b okay so by using those two formulas we are going to substitute in this equation it's going to simplify so again i am rewriting this equation ac by 2 m of t so cos square term is coming so what do you write 1 by 2 of cos 2 theta plus 1 so 1 by 2 1 by 2 of cos 2 term so cos 2 theta so what is here theta 2 pi fct so cos 4 pi fct plus 1 cos 4 pi fct plus 1 so this is the first term what you got from this cos square term this is minus ac by 2 m cap of t and here 
Cauchy sandwich term is there. So again, you can write 1 by 2 of sine of a plus b. So here you're getting sine 4 pi fct. Why a term is 2 pi fc, b term also, b term also 2 pi fct. So a plus b gives 4 pi fct, that is sine term minus sine of a minus b. So here a term is 2 pi fct, b term also 2 pi fct. So gives 0, sine of 0, this one get you. So again, rearranging, you get AC by 4 M of T into cos 4 pi FCT plus 1. So this one plus or minus AC by 4 M cap of T sine 4 pi FCT here you know sine 0 term gives 0 so this term is eliminated so this we got uh, V of T so this is our V of T so this is the input of the low pass filter this is the input of this low pass filter. So V of T is AC by 4 M of T of cos 4 pi FCT plus 1 plus or minus AC by 4 M cap of T of sine 4 pi FCT. So this we got. And this is going to apply to our low pass filter okay so here what to get to the previous one so ac m of t ac by 4 m of t into the product is cos 4 pi fct plus 1 so one term is there so that you go to multiply inside the brackets you get your ac by 4 m of t plus AC by 4 M of T cos 4 pi FCT plus or minus AC by 4 M cap of T sin 4, 4 pi FCT. So this we get. This is the signal what you get. V of T which is equal to AC by 4 M of T plus AC by 4 of M of T cos 4 pi FCT plus or minus M cap of T sin 4 pi FCT. So now this signal which is going to apply to the low pass filter. So here the cross terms which contains 4 pi FCT. 4 FCT terms is getting in both the cross and sine also. So this is the high frequency terms, high frequency components. So these high frequency components cannot to flow through the LPF. Why? The LPF which allows only low frequency signals and attenuates high frequency components. So the two high frequency components which is going to emulate it, you get V of T which is equal to AC by 4 M of T. AC by 4 of M of T. So our output which is directly proportional to M of T. What is M of T? M of T is the message signal our aim is to extract this message signal from the modulated ssb signal so this is ho but in practice a phase error phi may rise in the locally generated carrier wave already we said in the coherent integral having a product modulator and a local oscillator so in practical in practice or in practical uh, having that uh, phase error is arises so the, the detected output is modified 
due to phase errors as follows. Again, that V of t, V naught of t, which is equal to AC by 4 M of t cos pi plus or minus AC by 4 M cap of t sin pi. So, whenever this phase error is going to 0, phase error is going to 0 means you can substitute the phi value in the sine time, sine 0 gives 0 and cos 0 gives 1. So, which is going to multiply, again you get AC by 4 M of T. So, that what we uh, deduce from that uh, division, same. That output is uh, directly proportional to the message signal. Okay, I hope you understand. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.